Man, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of EOS. It's 1090 Jake, man. I'm rocking with y'all, and y'all rocking with me. And for this video, we're going to be speaking on Memphis rapper Snooty Wild, who was shot and killed in Texas less than a year after getting out of prison. Friday, February 25th, 2022. A city shot spotter detected a single gunshot in Houston's Southside at 2 a.m. While officers were en route to investigate the possible shooting, 911 calls came in reporting a male victim had been shot. Officers arrived at the intersection of Alice and England Street, finding an SUV backed into a ditch. What potentially looked like a car accident took a turn when a man was discovered laying in the ditch, bleeding from the single gunshot wound in his neck. Immediately attempting to save the man's life, officers began treating the wound while paramedics were en route. Transported to a nearby hospital, it was later learned the victim had a 50% chance of surviving. Now investigating a potential murder scene, officers spoke with a resident whose home surveillance system had captured the events leading up to the shooting. Fuzzy black and white footage showed the SUV appearing to accidentally back into the ditch. That's when a white vehicle pulled up with two men and a woman exiting before appearing to have a conversation with the victim. It's unclear if the conversation was confrontational in nature as body movement gave no clear distinction, but eventually a weapon was produced and a single gunshot was fired before the three suspects got back in their vehicle and took off. The same suspects could be seen on video returning as if to check on the victim before driving off for the second time. Responding officers were able to locate a vehicle in the immediate neighborhood matching the description of the shooter's vehicle, meaning the owner of the suspected vehicle possibly lives only blocks away from the shooting scene. News broke through social media identifying the victim as 36-year-old LaPreston Porter, who's more commonly known as the Memphis rapper Snooty Wild. Growing up in Memphis, Snooty was an athletic teen, but his dreams of becoming pro were cut short when he was stabbed in the knee during a fight. At only 19, he'd find himself fighting his first major criminal case. According to an arrest affidavit, back in October of 2004, two masked males entered the Advanced Auto Parts store on Getwell Road in East Memphis. One of the masked men was armed with a handgun, approached the manager, and demanded money from the safe while the other masked man assaulted a female employee who was attempting to leave the store. The two robbers made off with $5,000 in cash, and during the investigation, Snooty Wild became a suspect. Brought into the robbery investigation's office, Snooty waived his rights, gave a statement admitting to the robbery, driving the getaway vehicle, and splitting the stolen money with the other suspect. Snooty would later be sentenced to seven years and two months in Tennessee State Prison, to which he'd be released after four. In 2013, Snooty would release his single, Yayo, which quickly caught the attention of Memphis rapper Yo Gotti, who would remix the song and sign Snooty to CMG that same year. The official version of the song was released in 2014 and was an instant success, but even with this newfound success in music, Snooty Wild was unable to stay out of jail. In 2014, officers observed a white Chevy Camaro swerving in lanes with the driver not wearing a seatbelt. Conducting a traffic stop, Snooty was found to be behind the wheel and a strong odor of marijuana was coming from the vehicle. Giving permission to search the car after stating he just finished smoking, officers recovered a 9mm handgun loaded with 12 rounds under the driver's seat, and Snooty was arrested for being a convicted felon in possession of a weapon, unlawful carrying of a weapon, and traffic violations. In 2015, officers responded to a call for domestic violence, finding a woman claiming to be Snooty Wilde's girlfriend. She said they'd been sitting in the driveway in her 2001 Ford Escape when they started arguing and Snooty punched her in the face, causing a bruise on her right cheek. He then tried to pull her door open and started kicking the door, causing an estimated $1,700 in damage. Snooty was arrested for domestic assault and vandalism. By the end of 2015, Snooty Wild was in New Orleans where he met Crystal, his future fiance. While the two began dating, it was in 2016 when officers responded to the Memphis nightclub Purple Haze at 4.55 in the morning. A female was found with a knot on her forehead, cuts on her elbows, and swelling under her right eye. 
She went on to tell police a local rapper had grabbed her by her hair as females began to jump her. She'd identified Snooty Wild by photo as the man who held her as she was beaten. Moving to Texas with Crystal, the two would be engaged after dating for two and a half years, and while life was changing for the best, Snooty Wild's habits remained the same. It was 2017 when a now 32-year-old Snooty was yet again facing charges. It was 1.06 in the morning when deputies from Montgomery County assisted the Panorama Police Department with an accident investigation on Interstate 45, where Snooty claimed he was ran off the road. During the investigation, officers observed Snooty enter his vehicle through the rear hatch and begin rummaging through his belongings multiple times. Officers approached his vehicle, and Snooty was now pointing a handgun directly at them. A physical struggle ensued, Snooty was disarmed, and before he could discharge the firearm, he was placed into custody. During the search of the vehicle, narcotics in the form of marijuana and prescription medications were located and recovered. The firearm Snooty was in possession of was confirmed to be stolen, and Snooty also was shown to be a convicted felon out of Tennessee. Transported to the county jail, he was charged with aggravated assault on a public servant, unlawful possession of a firearm by a felon, theft of a firearm, and drug charges. The following year in 2018, Crystal would give birth to Snooty's son, and that same month, he'd be sentenced to six years in Texas State Prison. He'd serve two years and ten months and be released in late 2021. The circumstances around his death remain a mystery at this time as no motive is clear and no arrests have been made, but an update was given by police. Apparently the SUV that was found backed into the ditch was being driven by a woman. She was outside of her vehicle when another vehicle pulled up and a group of people got out to help her, when who she identifies as Snooty Wild appeared pointing a gun at her. The woman told officers she ran away, and as she ran, she heard a single gunshot. It was Crystal, Snooty's fiance and mother of his three-year-old son, that confirmed his death. She claimed he had no enemies and has no idea who would have done this, but the woman driving the SUV paints him as the one who was threatening her. At 36 years old, Snooty Wild leaves behind a total of five children. Now here in his history, right? And people get mad when I bring up people's criminal history. I don't know why, because at the end of the day, this is a part of the legacy that you leave behind, and it can be portrayed as one of two things. He was a gangster, he lived that life, or you know the things that people don't really want other people to know. Because originally looking at this case, hearing that he was killed, I was under the assumption that he was the driver of the SUV, backed up, people came to help him, and he was randomly shot, which would make me think maybe it was a robbery. But then looking at the vehicle, understanding he just got out of prison, he doesn't have money like that. He was still in the hood up until the point that he died. And even after performing, going on tours, he still remained in and out of the justice system, which obviously takes a toll on the amount of money that you have. And I guarantee you the majority of his money went to fighting those cases. But to hear in an update that it was a woman driving the SUV, people got out of another car to help her and then he just appears with a gun aimed at her. She runs away and as she's running, she hears a shot. It makes me think the people in that car that were trying to help her, one of them must have been the one that shot him. But why would he just randomly appear and get shot or was he with them? It's very confusing and we don't have the answers to really form an opinion or an idea on how this went down. But given that he has a history of firearms and also unfortunately has a history of assaulting women, it makes me look at this case in a completely different light because all we're going to get from the family was he was a good man, he was this, he was that, and I'm not denying that they had that personal opinion of him. I'm just trying to look at things full circle so I can form an opinion for myself. Hearing his history, hearing about the types of things that he used to do, and that doesn't mean that he was that same man. I mean, he just got out of prison, he's a lot older now, but at 32 years old, he's pulling a gun out on the police. You know what I mean? So to hear that he pulled a gun out on the woman, I'm sure that woman's being investigated. They're gonna figure out who she is, if she knows him, 
I mean, she obviously was able to identify him, but that could have just been because they brought her a picture and said, hey, this is the guy that was killed. Do you know who this is? Yeah, that's the guy that pointed the gun at me. At the same time, there weren't any reports of a firearm being recovered in the ditch that he was found at. So that just adds a whole nother twist to it. Did the people in the car take the gun? They came back around two times. Why did they do that? I don't know. We're going to have to wait for more information to come out. But hey, it's 1090 Jake. Rest in peace to Snooty Wild. I'm rocking with y'all y'all rocking with me. Till next time.